Figure 9.5 shows how to derive the weight setting curve. It does that by bringing back figure 6.6. .6. The employer sets the wage to minimize the cost of effort. So, let's briefly review this figure. On the x-axis, we have the hourly wage, that is, the nominal wage earned by the employee. On the y-axis, we have the effort per hour by the employee. So the best response function represented here indicates that for each level of effort, there is one associated level of nominal wage. Let's start from the employer's perspective. He or she wants to maximize profit. As such, the employer wants to obtain effort from the employees at the lowest cost, so at the lowest wage. Given the hourly wage on the x-axis and the effort on the y-axis, that means that the employer wants to get onto the steepest ISO cost line possible. However, employers can only decide on the nominal wage, but not on employees' effort. So the employer is constrained on the employee's decision on how much effort they will place on the job. That means that the employer has to pick some point on the worker's best response curve. And the best employer can do is to choose the ISO cost line that is tangent to the employee's best response function. At the tangency point, the marginal rate of substitution is equal to the marginal rate of transformation of higher wages into more effort. This figure also associates the best response function for a given unemployment rate. That is, employees decide on their effort based on the unemployment rate in the economy. The logic is that higher unemployment rate reduces the reservation wage because a worker faces a longer expected period of unemployment if he or she loses a job. So a higher unemployment rate weakens the employee's bargaining power and is associated to a best response function more to the left. In this figure, with an employment rate of 12%, the reservation wage is shown by point F. The employer's profit maximizing choice is point A with the low wage. What if unemployment rate was 5%? With a low unemployment rate, the reservation wage will be higher and employees have a greater bargaining power. As a result, the best response function is more to the right. In equilibrium, this gives a higher nominal wage. Now, let's use this information to derive the wage setting curve. Now we can bring together figure 9.4 the economy-wide wage setting curve depicted here on the bottom, and figure 6.6. .6. The figure with the wage setting curve depicts two points, point A associated with the unemployment rate of 12%, which we also saw in figure 6.6, .6, and point B associated with the unemployment rate of 5%, also depicted in figure 6.6. .6. We just concluded that everything else constant, wages will be higher when unemployment rate is lower. This is exactly what the wage setting curve reflects. So figure 9.5 shows that the wage setting curve is derived as part of the labor discipline model, where this model illustrates how employees and employers interact when setting wages and determining the level of work effort.